Hello friends, I welcome you all in the fluid mechanics lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to learn a separation of boundary layer, location of separation points and the methods of preventing the separation of boundary layer. So in the previous video lecture, we have discussed a boundary layer theory, displacement thickness, momentum thickness and the energy thickness. Also we have discussed a real fluid flows over a flat fixed plate and how the boundary is developing or boundary layer is developed. So this topic we have discussed in the previous video lecture. So we will start for today's topic that is separation of boundary layer. So question may ask on this topic like that. What do you mean by boundary layer separation and what is the effect of ratio radiant on the boundary layer separation. And in this lecture we will discuss the solution of this question. So friends we know that when a solid body is immersed in a flowing fluid, a thin layer of fluid called the boundary layer is formed nearer to the solid body. So in the thin layer of the fluid, the velocity varies from zero to free stream velocity in the direction normal to the solid body. Along the length of the solid body, the thickness of the boundary layer increases. The fluid layer adjacent to the solid surface has to do work against a surface friction at the expense of its kinetic energy. This loss of the kinetic energy is recovered from the immediate fluid layer in contact with the layer adjacent to the solid surface through the momentum exchange process. The velocity of the layer goes on decreasing along the length of the solid body. At a certain point, a stage may come when a boundary layer may not be able to keep sticking to the solid body. If it cannot provide a kinetic energy, to overcome the resistance offered by a solid body. So in other words we can say that the boundary layer will be separated from the surface and this phenomenon is called the boundary layer separation and the point on the body at which the boundary layer is on verge of separation from the surface is called as point of separation. Now we will discuss the different conditions that is condition depends upon pressure radiant. So the effect of pressure radiant on the boundary layer separations are consider the effect of pressure radiant that is dp by dx on the boundary layer separation can be explained by considering the flow over a curve surface that is a b c s d is shown in the figure. So in the region a b c the curve surface the area of the flow decreases and hence the velocity increases. This means that the, the flow get accelerated in the region. Due to the increase of the velocity, the pressure decreases in the direction of flow and hence the pressure radiant that is dp by dx is negative in the region ABC. Now you can see that consider it is a free stream layer or velocity and at a delta level we will get a displacement thickness and above the displacement thickness the velocity of the fluid particle is equal to the free stream velocity. Now in the region ABC the area decreases. As the area decreases the velocity of the fluid particle is increases and the pressure decreases. As the pressure decreases the flow is accelerated in the ABC region and in the ABC region we will get a dp by dx value it is negative. So at a point c the velocity or the area is very very low and at a c point we will get a minimum pressure at a minimum pressure the velocity of the fluid particle at a point c is very very high. Now we will discuss a c s d region or s d region. The pressure is minimum at a point c already we have discussed. So in the s d region the area area is large so as the area is large the velocity in the region csd is decreases so as the velocity decreases so the pressure gradient increases so in a csd region the pressure gradient is positive and at a point s the flow starts separating and it starts separating and it develops another boundary layer the flow may get backward or retarded due to this the it is formation takes place and due to this it is formation the backflow is created and the different losses are occurred in the region 
एस डी नाउ यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज अ बैक फ्लो रीजन एंड इन दिस रीजन द इट इज आर इट इज फॉर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस सो द बेसिक ओवरव्यू ऑफ दिस सेपरेशन बाउंड्री लेर इज इन द एबीसी रीजन द वेलोसिटी इंक्रीजेस प्रेशर डिक्रीजेस सो एज द प्रेशर डिक्रीजेस फ्लो इज एक्सेलरेटेड इन द रीजन ए बी सी एट अ पॉइंट सी द एरिया इज मिनिमम सो एज द एरिया इज मिनिमम वेलोसिटी इज वेरी वेरी हाई सो वेलोसिटी हाई मीन्स प्रेशर इज मिनिमम इन द सी एस डी रीजन इन द नेक्स्ट कव रीजन द एरिया इज लार्ज सो एज द एरिया इज लार्ज सो वेलोसिटी डिक्रीजेस एंड प्रेशर इंक्रीजेस एज द प्रेशर इंक्रीजेस द प्रेशर रेडियंट इज पॉजिटिव सो वी हैव द अनदर अनदर डायग्राम फॉर सेपरेशन ऑफ बाउंड्री लेयर नाउ फ्रॉम दिस डायग्राम ऑल्सो वी कैन वी कैन डिस्कस ए सेपरेशन ऑफ बाउंड्री लेयर कंसेप्ट कंसिडर इट इज अ पाइप इन विच अ कर सरफेस और हाफ हिमिस्पेरिकल इज प्लेस्ड एंड ए फ्लूड इज फ्लोइंग विथ ए वेलॉसिटी यू यू इज अ फ्री स्ट्रीम वेलॉसिटी नाउ कंसिडर इट इज ए रीजन कंसिडर इज ए रीजन इट इज बी रीजन और इट इज सी इन ए बी रीजन द एरिया डिक्रीजेस यू कैन सी दैट इज द टॉप लेवल एंड एट ए सेक्शन ए द एरिया इज लार्ज एट सेक्शन बी द एरिया डिक्रीजेस एज द एरिया डिक्रीजेस द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द फ्लूड पार्टिकल इंक्रीजेस एज द वेलोसिटी इंक्रीजेस वी विल गेट ए निगेटिव प्रेशर रेडियंट एंड फ्लो इज एक्सेलेटेड अलॉन्ग द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन एट अ पॉइंट बी द एरिया इज मिनिमम सो एज द एरिया मिनिमम द वेलोसिटी इज मैक्सिमम एट अ पॉइंट सी एट अ पॉइंट बी सो द एट अ पॉइंट बी द प्रेशर इज बी टू एंड वेलोसिटी इज बी टू अपटर बी और इन द सरपेस और कर सरपेस बी सी द एरिया अगेन इंक्रीजेस एज द एरिया इंक्रीजेस वेलोसिटी डिक्रीजेस एंड प्रेशर इंक्रीजेस सो ड्यू टू इंक्रीज इन प्रेशर द इट इज फॉर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस एंड बैक फ्लो इज क्रिएटेड सो एट अ पॉइंट बी द फ्लो स्टार्ट सेपरेटिंग नाउ वी नो द प्रेशर डिफरेंस इफ यू कैलकुलेट डीपी प्रेशर so p2 minus p1 we will get a negative because p2 is minimum p1 is maximum similarly dv is a change of velocity if you calculate we will get a positive answer because at a point p at a point b the velocity is maximum and at a point a the velocity is minimum so in the region ab pressure gradient is negative at a point b we will get a minimum pressure and in the region uh, bc the pressure gradient is positive and if you calculate dp dp and dv value dp change of pressure and dv change of velocity so we will get a positive answer for dp and negative answer for dv the next important topic is location of separation points so already we have discussed the positive pressure gradient helps in separating the boundary layer so the s is a separation point the separation point s is determined uh, from the condition that is du by dy is equal to 0 so by using this condition we can calculate a uh, separation point s for a given velocity profile uh, it can be determined whether the boundary layer has separated or on the verge of separation or will not separate from the following condition so these are the three different condition by using this we can calculate a boundary layer is separated or it is on the verge of separation or will not separate from the uh, boundary so the first condition is if the velocity gradient that is du by dy is negative when the y is equal to 0 then the flow has separated the second condition is if the velocity gradient is equal to 0 when y is equal to 0 then we can say that the flow is uh, on the verge of separation means what the flow has starts to separate the third condition is if velocity gradient y is equal to 0 the answer of this equation if it is positive then the flow will not be separate or flow will remains attached with the surface so by using uh, flow separation diagram we can find out the different separation points let us consider the first condition is the if du by dy is equal to 0 uh du by dy 
is negative so means what at uh, after s point the flow has separated the second condition is du by dy is equal to zero means what the flow is on the verge of separation means what the point is s is a verge of separation points and the third condition is if the du by dy is positive at that time flow will not be separate so in the abc region flow will not be separate or flow will remain attached with the surface so by these three conditions we can find out the boundary layer is separated or it is on the verge of separation or will not separate the next point is methods of preventing the separation of boundary layer so already we have discussed separation point the boundary is attached on a surface and the boundary has separated so when a boundary layer separates from the surface at a point s a certain portion adjacent to the surface has a back flow and eddies are continuously formed in this region and hence the continuous loss of energy takes place the separation of boundary layer is undesirable and attempts should be made to avoid the separation of various methods so the following methods are given or we will discuss uh, in this topic so the proper aerofoil uh, shape designing is a one of the best method to prevent the separation of boundary layer so we will discuss the preventing of separation of boundary layer so the first method is suction of the slow moving fluid by a suction slot the second method is supplying the additional energy from a blower so blower is installed in a uh, aerofoil shape body so so as we can prevent the separation of boundary layer or you can extend the separation points the third uh, method is providing a bypass in the slot slotted wing the next method is rotating boundary in the direction of flow the next method is providing a small divergence in a diffuser next providing a guide blade in a bend and the last method is providing a tree wire ring in the laminar region for a flow over a sphere so by using these seven or eight methods we can prevent the separation of boundary layer so if the if we prevent the separation of boundary layer so we can minimize a losses and we can save a energy so in the next video lecture we will solve problem based on displacement thickness momentum thickness and energy thickness also we will solve a problem based on a different three condition that is uh, separation condition thank you